Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and today we're going to do, uh, it's a weekend, so we're going to do a different video than our standard Prime 5, so no five stories here, it's kind of one story that's going to keep building up, because Nintendo might be stockpiling years worth of games, and that to me is absolutely in. Insane. Now, it's incredibly great news for Nintendo because that means game droughts? What are game droughts, at least for the next couple of years? But also, it does mean that, you know what, if this is true, it's sort of a convenient thing for Nintendo insiders and leakers, isn't it? Because they could just say anything is happening, and it's just sitting in a stockpile, and Nintendo will announce it whenever, and... Then you just are stuck not knowing what to believe for the next few years while we wait for some supposed game that's supposedly done and it never gets announced and never comes out. Whew, that's a lot. Let's actually dive into this. I uh, enjoy some old Nintendo Direct footage because, hey, we're probably getting one next week. And let's actually uh, go over all of my notes on this. So Nintendo apparently is just sitting on a ton of practically finished projects. And frankly, nobody has much of a clue when Nintendo will drop them. Now, remember, this is all rumors. Coming from semi-reliable Nintendo insiders, but it's still a rumor nonetheless. So Jeff Grubb actually admitted that he recently found out that Nintendo is sitting on a bunch of these games, a huge stockpile of them, and it's not really getting a lot of attention, so I wanted to talk about it. Now, example of projects that are being rumored right now and not announced, obviously we have Donkey Kong, that was a, kind of a late rumor last year. Emily Rogers also reminded us today of Fire Emblem, how there's a brand new Fire Emblem game supposedly done and ready to go. Metroid Prime Remaster slash HD is supposedly done and ready to go. And she actually said somebody recently played it at Nintendo of America and actually uh, was really, really impressed and had a bunch of the changes in it supposedly from the Metroid Prime trilogy. Uh, she also noted that the Game Boy stuff that factually leaked earlier this year, we had the emulator from Nintendo leak for this, has apparently been done for two years, and Nintendo's just been sitting on it, not dropping that for NSO. She also was the insider that recently told us that a bunch of GameCube remasters are coming. Uh, a ton of them, not just your Zeldas and your Metroids, a hell of a lot more coming, and she wouldn't really name any specific ones, but that a bunch of them are coming, and a bunch of them are just done and sitting there. Please, Star Fox Adventures, I really hope you're one of those. Now, Jeff Grubb has come out and said that Nintendo is sitting on the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD, and they've been actually sitting on those games being done now for at least a year. And just a little bit of personal speculation here, I actually speculated that Breath of the Wild 2's delay it had nothing to do with the game not being done. Again, this is my speculation, no one else is saying this, but I actually think Breath of the Wild 2 is done. Nintendo just has so many damn games coming out. They're like, man, it just we don't need to drop this right now. Let's wait a little bit. Anyways, Advance Wars 1 plus 2, obviously we know about that. Reboot Camp, that was supposed to come out last April. It's in, in infinite delay at the moment. You know, indefinite delay, I suppose. Comes out whenever Nintendo feels like it. And we know that game obviously exists, not just because Nintendo announced it, but because somebody actually played a digital copy of it because it never got deactivated for some reason until Nintendo caught wind. Now, nobody seems to really know why Nintendo is sitting on so many games and it appears that they're sort of backed up other than assuming that COVID delayed games, and I guess that could explain the lackluster release slate in 2020, and then games getting completed started running into other games finishing, and now Nintendo basically has too much content to get out. In general, this is actually an excellent issue for Nintendo to have, as it means they should have plenty of content next year and beyond. Also remember that it felt like Bayonetta 3 was actually done last year, and Platinum kept wanting to talk about it, or at least that's what Kamiya was saying online, but he just kept saying, hey, Nintendo decides when we can talk about this. And that could just be because Nintendo had a really full slate, and they weren't sure when to drop the game until this year. I mean, think about all the games we've had come out this year. Man, Nintendo just might not have known, when do we talk about this damn thing? Because we have so many games coming. Another rumored finished game, by the way, is... Everybody's 1-2 Switch. That one's from Nate Drake, and supposedly Nintendo's just sitting on that as well. Of course, rumor has it that the playtest group for that, yeah, they really thought it was a pretty bad game. So that one might never come out, or might be a digital-only release like Kirby's Dream Buffet. But whatever the case is, that's supposedly one of those rumored games as well. And what I find interesting in all of this is just Nintendo sitting on all of these games. A very convenient thing for Nintendo insiders because they can basically say anything they want and 
Well, that could be three years off. That could be four years off because look how many games Nintendo has ready to go. Heck, is there a 3D Mario just sitting there? Does Nintendo have a Mario Kart 9, 10, whatever they're calling it, already done and they're sitting there? Arms 2, is that done as well? And just sitting there? How many games does Nintendo have just sitting there? We, we sat there and we go, Nintendo hasn't actually had their first party studios releasing a ton of games lately, but they've had all these contracts with third party companies that maybe have a bit more of a timeliness to them, like Sparks of Hope, it has to come out this year because it also affects Ubisoft, right? The Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes had to come out this year because it also affects Koei Tecmo. Live Alive had to come out because, yeah, it also affects Square Enix. Platinum Games and Bayonetta 3 had to come out because it also affects Platinum Games. So... There's kind of this thing where we're getting all of Nintendo's contracted games and Nintendo might just be sitting on all their first party stuff being like, hey, yeah, we gave you Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade. Is that good enough? Because, uh, yeah, you won't get anything until Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> oh, man. So I don't know what's going to happen at this Direct. Obviously, this leads to so much speculation for, the, for next week's Direct. And as my shirt says hype responsibly uh, because you know we're not getting all of this crap we're not going to get fire emblem and metroid prime and the wind waker and twilight princess hd and breath of the wild 2 and f-zero you know people want that to come back f-zero gx that rumored game out there oh don't forget about Star Fox adventures oh we're not going to get you know gamecube on nso or Game Boy on nso as well we're not also going to get i don't know a brand new mario game and donkey kong and everything in between like we're not going to get this isn't about to be a two-hour direct that gives us all of our wet dreams. That's just not going to happen. So we got to temper our expectations a little bit. But it's also interesting to wonder that what if these rumors are true? What if Nintendo is sitting on all these games? Well, I would say that's probably good news for all of us. Anyways, you guys let me know if you think Nintendo is truly sitting on a stockpile of finished games and... Let me know what you would do if you were in Nintendo shoes, should this be the case. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.